how much money did we start with? <laughs> I'm gonna blow the whole budget just rebuilding all these counters. Hello, I'm Kevin, I'm an interior designer, and today we will be designing homes in Sims 4. My projects are usually restaurants and hotels. The tone is usually a little moodier and darker, ideally sexier, but today we're gonna do this cute two-bedroom apartment or house. The last time I played Sims was when I was a little kid, so this will be an interesting learning experience for me. Entering into the living room, looks a little sparse. A nice little small dining table. Then we have a small little kitchen. Bathroom over here, small bedroom downstairs. Upstairs is pretty small. Bedroom, bathroom, and a little balcony. Some spicing up is definitely going to happen. It's looking a little all brown, maybe a little boring, a little simple. It's not that offensive, but we can do better. We'll just make it a little bit more slick and contemporary. Everything there was a little sad. This TV's sad. This door's sad. Sad, sad, or sad. I don't like that. Let's get rid of that and that and that and that. We're starting fresh. All right, we need a nice entry. Hashtag winning, hashtag fabulous. With a description like that, how can we not use it? Found this wall covering, simple, funky. Wow, what material is this? Let's see what couches we got. Cuttlefish love seat. Hipster hugger. Size sensitive sofa. These names. We're gonna get the biggest TV. I'm not sure if this is a coffee table or not, but I like the way it looks, so it's gonna be a coffee table. Are you taking all the expensive items? No. The most expensive item is not always the best item. Open kitchen. Opens up the space, gives a better energy. Furnish your kitchen with stuff that looks like it belongs in the workplace. No one wants that. This is a sad counter selection. Uh, kitchen design was never my forte. Or like the ripples on a pond when kissed by the falling autumn leaves. Wow, this is a deep bar stool. I wanted this fridge because it's called the Schmapple fridge and the food quality is 10 and it's unbreakable. Schmapple oven. This is perfect. We'll just have the whole Schmapple collection. This kitchen sponsored by Schmapple. When the sink is called the divine, that's the sink you go with. I'm basically making all of my design choices on what these names are. We know this shower has gotta go. Rotate, 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 rotate. You know, moving furniture around is, is hard, so. Guess that part is realistic. Always nice to have natural light in the bathroom. We'll make sure the glass is frosted. Let's tackle this bedroom. Per usual, we're gonna <laughs> demolish everything that's already in here. Let's make this an office slash guest bedroom. Lemonade on a sunny day to sheer. Look what it does to the space. Should this become a party room, drug room, rave room? Uh, they can put that in storage when they're not using it. Your home is always a work in progress. There are always design decisions you make at the time that you'll reconsider maybe immediately. So when we started off, I felt like the house was a little bit more traditional. Maybe someone older lived there, had some grandmotherly touches. I wanted to bring it a little bit more to date, basically just changed everything. Thinking that the client is a little bit younger and likes to have people over, wants to entertain. Just a simple color scheme, modern furniture, open space, a little bit of mood, some funky stuff. Yeah, I think a Sim would be happy in here. In Sims 4, everything is very immediate. It's a little gratifying because you can kind of play around and see what you like and what you don't. But if you're an aspiring designer and don't have any real world experience, I think the Sims game was a fun way to kind of see how things could be put together. Now that the house is somewhat built, I kind of want to see how people interact in it. Oh, we're gonna be here forever. We are gonna be here forever.